welcome to what I would call the hot seat. It's the hot seat with two eminent gentlemen here beside me who you all know, and it's after the first ever online event for Crowd1 that I hope all of you have tuned into. So taking the conversation from that to a more up close and personal conversation with Jonas Erik Werner, who you all know, the epic founder of ICT, and also Johan Stahl von Holstein, the epic CEO of ICT. I thought I would just, let's create a momentum and just what's your take on the first online gathering? I mean, it was an amazing show. What did you, um, was it as you had hoped? Jonas, if I start with you. Uh, yeah, uh, it was uh, a really cool experience. Uh, it's totally different uh, when you not have like eight, ten thousand 10,000 people in front of the stage. Mm. Uh, but I think we did a uh, quite good job uh, and we will have a couple of those events during 2020, but absolutely a really good start. Mm. I think it was amazing. I'm thrilled about the, the new promotion that we're doing where we're trying to spread this and where we're going to show our social responsibility. Um, I think it was fantastic, mm. as with everything with this company. Mm -hmm. Uh, interesting that you mentioned social responsibility. I think I'm going to take that thread up again um, during our conversation. But just to sort of clarify, why is it so important with these sort of large-scale events? I mean, offline now transitioning into online um, for Crowd1, the platform. Why are they so important, the events? So I think it's really important because, you know, we have people in maybe 170 countries scattered all over the world, mm -hmm. and we don't get to see them. I think by, by, show, by having these type of events, they get to see us, feel us, hear us together. There's always rumors going on. As I see Jonas and me sitting here together, we're all, we have the same ideas, the same visions, where we want to go to, where we want to come. I also believe that, you know, sales is a really, really difficult uh, task. Mm. Some people underestimate that. And we, you need inspiration. You need to be in empowered and motivated. And I think these type of, of sessions that we have, make people to feel that we're part of a bigger community, mm. we're, we're part of a movement, they feel the engagement, the inspiration, the energy that comes out of it. So and there's a number of reasons why I think it's important. Mm. Yeah, what about you? Uh, I fully agree with you on, and, and also uh, a picture, say more than a thousand words, and, and uh, the events that we create uh, are used many, many times after people people share them mm. and and uh, on on meetings thousands of meetings every day so we at the same time as as we uh, we put people together we also create a great material mm. that can be used for week weeks after week mm. long time after mm. yeah i think s smart networkers out there they have made an event out of this they have talked to a cafe they've They've bought one ticket, they're putting it up. They might be selling tickets to people to see it. We might be a million people, might be two million people out there watching this right now. Mm. So, you know, this is a sales. It's one of the ways, one of the products that we have to support them and how to sell their educational projects or uh, programs. So, you know, I th it's, 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 and it's fun for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At the same time as, as it should be a great sales tool. It should also be be a couple of hours so full of entertainment and and I mean if you if you have fun it's easier to do things mm. uh, and as you once said most people don't like to sell uh, so but when you have fun things involved it's it's easier mm. whatever you do. Mm. And sort of taking it back to the beginning, because Crowd1 is then part of ICT, Impact Crowd Technologies, could you just briefly, I'm, I'm sure everybody's acquainted with it, but just briefly, what is sort of the business strategy of ICT? And maybe starting with you, you one as the CEO. So coming into this business, I don't really know the industry, I've never been in it before, but I see these amazing potential of building the largest sales network in the world, of distri totally disrupting the way of selling and, and distributing um, software apps and so on. And, and also, you know, the ability to take away the digital divide mm. to make the world more just uh, for, for countries who normally would have to wait 10, 15, 20 years for software. I mean, we, we can fundamentally change the world. We can make the world a better place. We can increase growth. Uh, and, uh, and we're doing it from an environmentally uh, perspective that we're doing everything online everything digital everything remote which means that you know we're 
right in the spot of the most important development the world has ever seen. Mm. Online, mobile, uh, digital, and pushing uh, growth and prosperity into regions that are way behind. Mm. So I think it's, it's really important. And in order to make this really, you know, so that we don't want any critics, we want people to love what we do all over the world and to understand what we do. And in order to do that, we need full compliance, full transparency, over transparency and over compliance. Now we're in 170 countries, so Namibia doesn't like what we do. Well, you know, we have to adjust and be specific there, but we need to take it country by country and we need to become you know, fully compliant to all the different legislations that you find anywhere there is. Mm. Um, and, uh, and this is a process. So it was important to put ICT up in a country with European law, European legislations, European banking rules, all the compliance. So we need to be perfect. And when we are, people are going to love us everywhere we are. And when, we, when they love us all over, we're going to get all the products we need to supply people out there with everything they need to take themselves from where they want to are to where they want to be and to you know, truly um, create a beautiful and prosperous future for all individuals that want to engage in, in, in Crowd1 ICT. Mm. Yeah, and, and uh, for the first time in the history, we are <coughs> capable of doing this. I mean, tens of millions of people uh, have, have internet uh, every day. Uh, it couldn't be done before. And uh, I've been in this industry for quite many years and, and most of the company have, uh, that have tried to do this before have, have failed. And, and uh, a big reason is that uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, they have been building too, too tough uh, businesses. It's too hard to, to duplicate them. I mean, Crowd1 for us, of course, as you once said, fully transparency, and we want to be able to reach out to all people. But Crowd1 should feel like like a, a regular social media platform, really easy to handle. Uh, within a couple of minutes, you are in the system, and and within a couple of minutes, you can explain it to other people, and other people can understand it. And uh, and of course, the mobile thing. Uh, most people on the globe have a mobile phone, actually. Mm. Uh, and that's the only thing you need. That's the only thing you need. And also, how did you, t because you're both very experienced in the industry, you've both done you know, successful ventures, um, experienced failures as well, which is part of the game, and, and well, not the game, but it's part of the business. Um, but how did you meet, and what was sort of the initial spark that Crowd1 and ICT to sort of move in that direction? Quite many years ago, I... I uh, I saw you uh, one. It was. It's. It's really tough to not see you one if you live in Sweden. <laughs> uh, and uh, I really loved his idea of the of the internet future, mm. and his predictions about the future uh, have been really well, <laughs> really good actually, uh, and uh, probably uh, some of the best mm. in the world. Uh, so um, yeah. Uh, I, I called him up and and, uh, and had a very short presentation, like eight, nine hours, short presentation, very duplicatable. Elevator pitch. Yeah, 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 elevator pitch for nine hours, but uh, no, I was explaining and we were talking back and forward on the phone before we met and, and uh, yeah, I know that you want like internet and, and sales and everything and want to make mm. the world uh, a better place by, by taking tech mm. out in the world. So, so I think, yeah, I don't know what you say, but we I clicked mean, quite I fast. Uh, I met Jonas, he's a, a wonderful energy, very charismatic, great salesperson. And as, as an entrepreneur, the most beautiful people in the world are the salespeople. So he convinced me of the sincerity and the, the long term view that they had and what they really wanted to create and really wanted to change and he's he was so convinced Johan I've cracked it I've got it it's it's mobile it's you know it's we need to do this and and we started looking at it setting other companies digital products because mm. um, first I said gambling and gaming only no 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 all other companies' digital products because there's no distribution or logistics. There is a huge possibility of making big discounts and at the same time having huge commissions over for the networkers. Mm. And I started looking at this, the digital divide and everything. I said, you're right. Mm. We just need to get this right. We need to get it fully transparent. We need to get it. And, and we just, you know, we bought into each other's ideas and views of the future and what's needed. 
and I think you know as as we con conclude this process of putting up ICT and taking over a large part of the crowd one and then incorporating getting these things and visions together, it's it's going to be beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of hard work. We're very dependent on our networks and members to be as long term and and loyal to us as we are to them and committed to what we want to do. The product developers will come and say, this is our way. Just by giving us the chance of reaching out to come markets where they weren't looking at mm. for the next 10, 15 years, is that's social responsibility from their side. Mm. We will get these products. Our members will find the things that suits them, and we will, we will make beautiful things out of this. Yeah. yeah, I think one of the things that I learned from you, actually, one was that because when, when, we, when we start to, to discuss to work together, uh, I was very focused on, on only working with one thing. Because I know uh, that most people, it's tough to duplicate, it's tough to work with several things. Uh, but the more we have developed the company and, and we have great tools and, and we have talked with so many companies, uh, I actually now start to realize that we will probably be able to work with, with a lot of different things but still be very, very uh, easy to work with mm -hmm. uh, yeah. because the systems is getting better and better. And, and the best thing, of course, would, uh, would be to have, have uh, a lot of things so, so all people can find something or a couple of things mm -hmm. that you really love uh, to work with. And in the beginning, I, I said totally no. We need to have one thing, maybe two. And uh, yeah this year of 2020 we will have a lot of things and and i think people will totally love it and as a salesperson i, I can see uh, w there will be no problems for people to work with it and, 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 and sorry, wait, when you say things are you talking about different sectors no uh, yeah or both sectors yeah, and, 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 and products, products services so online products yeah. and services i call it a product library you mm. know you might like uh, chiclet and he might like um, uh, horror and i might like classics but we go to the same library and we go to the shelves where we pick the things that we want mm. so th the more ai we can build into the crowd uh, one network the more we can understand when we're 20 million people, we'll have 600,000 doctors. Mm. These 600,000 doctors can sell software that wasn't intended for their markets for 15, 20 years at a fraction of what the cost of what they go for in, in, in America and in Europe, for instance. And so, you, and it's not going to disturb anybody else as little as the horror books in the li library disturbs my way. It's but we all know that the library and the community and the platform, the way we use it, the transaction systems are the same, mm. and that we're all part of this movement and this family, because you should go to one of the live events. That's the only thing I, I lack here. It's the amazing engagement and you know people, I can see people being members of us, not because they ever want to sell anything. They might want to buy the things that we have or just consume them in different ways, but just being part of this amazing inspirational atmosphere of energetic, passionate, committed people. Mm. So the glue is, is the energy and the commitment and the passion. Mm. And then we'll be able to have different segments for different types of individuals. Because I'm also thinking in the era that we're living, sort of the, the, the consumerism is where we're sort of going away from. Um, I mean, at least the mass consumption. So I also think that might be part of the key of this, that it's also building like a global community and you're launching a magazine and so forth. So there's also this you know, input and output of, of connection and, and maybe educational aspects and, and in addition buying and selling. <laughs> I, I believe that, you know, buying crap that breaks after a week, yes, we're going to not do that in the same way because of environmental reasons, because of the waste of money. And the, But we will buy more and more things, but we might buy really, really good, sophisticated software mm -hmm. that um, educates us, that inspires us, that uh, um, entertains us. Um, we need to have the commercial parts the transactions of money, mm. of creating things that are sellable, because that's what actually brings food on the table for people. But we might not need to buy a plastic car that you know breaks in, in, in two, two hours or two weeks. It's better to buy a, a, something fun that's digital, that lasts, mm. that doesn't destroy environment the way that we've been destroying nature over the last decades. Mm. And, and, and we, um, we know that people 
uh, a lot of people already, and, and most of the people very soon, are spending more, more and more hours every day. Soon people are spending the same amount of time every day that they do on their regular job, where they're earning money. And they spend the time in front of a mobile phone without earning anything. Uh, the crowd one business, the crowd one uh, concept is, is to be like, like a wallet that you put on the time you spend online. And of course, the more, uh, more online products and services that we can provide, mm -hmm. the bigger is the chance that more and more of the time you spend online will be valuable. Uh, so, so in the beginning it was online gaming, and I mean more than 5 billion people are doing online gaming every week. Uh, and you know there are a lot of famous games uh, with birds and stuff that people, that people are doing every day. But we will also be in the segments of, of all entertainment, you know, the movie world and, and, and the travel world. I mean, it's everything today you can do. Uh, on a mobile phone. You can live your life on a mobile phone, and, and uh, that's important. And, and also, you mentioned the magazine, and, and the magazine, it's two, two sides of the magazine. First of all, it's a great way uh, on the online magazine to, to, to spread the information and to, to some information together every month, because we will have it every month. It, it will come together with the online uh, events. Mm. But the second thing is that we will actually have a magazine printed. And I believe that even that the world has changed mm. the last 20 years. Most of, of us are still the same people. The evolution have not changed our brains, so we will still like the feeling mm. of the paper. So together, doing the online business, backed up with, with real magazines where, where people actually can take a look, a closer look on, on Crowd1, on all the products, services, what's happening in the company and so on. That will be a synergy that will... Mm. Yeah, we will change this industry in many ways, and, and that's another side of it. Yeah, and speaking of changing the industry, disrupting the in industry and so forth, um, I'm also thinking, you know, you, this has been, I mean, an immense, nearly exponential growth that you've had when you look at the member base. I mean, you're 3.5 million members today. Yeah, 3.6. 3.6. And I mean, you <laughs> launched in 2000. And yeah, and we are like, like uh, more than 30 people, 30,000 new members already today. Mm. At home. Yeah. And, that's, and, and that's amazing. So, so what, what's sort of the strategy going forward and in these exponential times? Let's just say the future, you know, in two years, because we're in a very sort of delicate uh, era right now. Wh where, where do you see? What's sort of the vision for the closest two years? Well, if it, I look at my DC side is that I need to build this library of products. Mm. I need to have people find what they need and what they want to be able to do what they need to do. Mm. So my focus here will be on building, and also you know, with, with the amount of people that we've grown with, we haven't at all grown as fast with the people on our side, on the back office, mm. on the technology side, on the customer service side. So I have a tremendous job of building the organization to support it. Um, and a tremendous job of finding all these products and getting the integration in between the company products, uh, IT structure, our IT structure, making it possible for our people not just to consume and buy themselves, but to, to sell in third hand. So the, the, the whole compliance, transparency, uh, professional organization, uh, all that is my focus over the next two years. Mm. And... Um, now he's he's the genius. My, my goal he's is the vision. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want him to sleep. So his goal uh, is to make my life hard. Yeah, <laughs> I, I will. Yeah, but that's we working great together because Yuan is is uh, the best person I ever met to find new stuff, and he know all people. Mm. Uh, most people in the world sometimes it seems like, but you know, have the right contacts and 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 bring the best best products and mm -hmm. services. And and my job and and uh, and uh, all the all the leaders and and uh, all the people working with the with the network building part is of course to to uh, to provide the best the best bonuses, the best promotions, the best uh, situation and the best tools for people to be able to duplicate the business and mm. and and yeah my goal is to to create the together with the, with the team the, the largest the largest network ever built and so yeah we there's a yeah. lot of job <laughs> Jonas is probably the best in the world at doing this i mean just mm. the growth that we've seen mm. the company have this year it's it's, it's amazing mm. and he works 24/7 
and engaging all these people and making webinars and speaks to people and motivating and engaging more and attracting more and more leaders around the world. So it's a, a tremendous job. Mm. Um, and, and the cool thing is actually that we have the duplication in progress with the leadership in the company. I mean, we have we have great people in the company and we have uh, like Peter Jacobson and the guys that, that have thousands and thousands of, of, of leadership meetings. We have a great leadership. <laughs> I, I heard numbers that we have more than 10,000 meetings worldwide every day uh, where, where, the, where the regional leaders actually do a great, mm. fantastic job. I mean, I couldn't do it alone. Mm. There is thousands and thousands of, of, of fantastic people working every day. And, and speaking of leadership, because that's also transitioning um, to be a leader, wh what are the traits, what are the qualities that, that you either find are important or admire or, or want to sort of give to your members? Wh what are the qualities that are important as a leader, um, both on a professional and a personal level? Because I, I think, you know, um, that they, they truly have to understand and believe and, and like our vision. So mm. we, we want people who want to build what we want to do, who actually want to build things that will uh, empower communities and, and spread wealth in areas that needs it and create these jobs. We also want them to believe that, yes, we will be putting this company public. We will become like uh, Amway and uh, Herbalife and uh, or Oriflame will be have a publicly traded company, highly respectable, where they have the opportunity of, of participating also in, in that part of the business. So we need to build that trust with the leaders so that they say, this is not something that's come and go with. And, and I've met some of the leaders, it's John Jonas that has most of the contact with, and they said, you know, I want this to be my last mm. network building ever. I want this to be for 10 years, 15 years. And that is our ambition. This is gonna be really, really sustainable and mm. long term. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because that, that's at the same time as we talk, speak about big numbers, and, and, and we will create big numbers. Uh, millions and millions and millions already in 2020, but, but at the same time, the long-term uh, vision is, is really important. And I think that's also a thing that, that changes us from, from a lot of other companies, is that, uh, that we gather a group of people mm. uh, behind the scene with experience from from uh, from the traditional business world uh, and and uh, yeah that's that's uh, that's a reason that you will find us here like mm. 10 15 years from mm. now for sure mm. but also the, the, which is really important to understand what Jonas has done in building this network is incomprehensible mm. so we're 3 th 3.5 million people in our network uh, Herbalife is 2.8 million. Herbalife has 3,800 employees. We have about 45, 50. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there is a mismatch here in building the organization, which also means that our network has to have patience and understand these products are not going to be up there in 24 hours. We need, you know, we're working very hard to integrate all the products that we're negotiating with and that we've f did done final, that we've signed the agreements with. And, and it's going to take time, but we're working so hard. We, you know, we're going to be 100 people soon. We're going to be 150 people. We're going to be 1,000 employees on our side in order to support the network. And Jonas is going to break my back. Be, uh, will be 6 million, 20 million. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's now it's about five weeks until five, six weeks until the next uh, online world event. And that, that event will be, uh, yeah, even what you have seen now uh, was, was great. Mm. <laughs> was the best ever done mm. in this industry. But the next one will, will be a galactic uh, <laughs> event, that's for sure. Not right. And, and yeah, I, I would actually, I, I think I can sit here and say that if we are 3.6 today, uh, I, I uh, and it, I see he starts uh, sweating. Yeah. Okay, uh, it, it should be like, yeah, I, I think we will break five, five, five million until uh, the 
within yeah that time frame. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I'm also thinking because there's such an exponential growth, and and I'm talking both internally with ICT with the own, with your own um, uh, talent and and the people that you're working with, and also for the members. Um, you know, culture is very mu it's so important. It's what we talk more and more. Of. The company yeah. has to have a purpose, a mission, but also a company culture and so forth. Yeah. And especially when you're growing so much, and also with a gender focus and yeah. and and diversity, especially looking at the countries. You know, you're global. How do you sort of weave that in when you're when you're expanding so quickly? No, it's, <laughs> it's 25 years ago I, I built Icon Media Lab. Mm. But 25 years ago, half of our board of directors were women, half of the managers were women in the company. We had, uh, so, so we had, so we're an IT company, mm. which means by tradition, it will be dominated by a lot of males. But we are working very hard on all these issues because we think they are fundamentally important. And with the, the people that we will be recruiting a lot of, the Generation X, is that what they call them? And the Y. And Y and Z and, and whatever. <laughs> they are expecting all of, to yeah. have, uh, for us to have all of these issues as, not as something that you sell it on, but it needs to be a, a hygiene factor. You know, if, if, we are, if we're not sustainable, resilient, if we don't have a, a purpose and a mission, all of these things that, that they won't even want to work with us. Mm. And if they don't want to work with us, mm. um, we're not going to be successful. Mm. So we will have, I mean, I think we showed with our epic um, promotion now where we're giving away a huge amount of educational packages to people because we want to help out in these areas where they need to have a job. We've already started. We're going to recruit um, a fantastic uh, girl who will be heading up a whole social responsibility uh, part of us. We're, we're working to get in uh, with the United Nations on the technical impact um, project that they have for okay. the whole world, which is the reason why we're also having the, the name Impact Crowd Technology, mm -hmm. because we, you know, we, we want to make good. Mm. And we will have an organization that looks into the gender aspects and all of these aspects mm. to be, we want to be a, you know, a number one company in mm. every sense. Mm. The company of the future, which, which, Absolutely. which in this all entails. And, and just another quick note, which also might be uh, of help because when you have this kind of growth and also sort of the networking industry or, or MLM, you know, it, it has its pros and cons and it has its criticisms and so forth. How do you sort of handle that? Because you're a young company and, and there are, you know, th there will always be some kind of criticism. H how do you sort of address that, which also might be good for the members to know in case they experience that yeah. or how they can confront that? Yeah, we, we have a, a really great crew of, of uh, people uh, working with the legal part of the company and, and that uh, that section of the company is growing all the time. Uh, when it comes to, to media, it's, it's really difficult because yeah, they write whatever they want. And, and uh, it's still in, in uh, 2020, a lot of journalists uh, believes that if you build a group of people, it, it's, unle it's unlegal. Uh, and that's, uh, yeah, it's, you can laugh about it. And I think it will take even take a couple of more years before people realize that the future mm. is is to have an online business. And, and uh, a lot of the biggest tech people in the world uh, already tells people that prepare. Because what we see in the world right now, uh, with the lockdown in many countries, where people can't reach their regular jobs, mm. that shows us, and I, I believe that this is not the first time uh, it would be stupid to believe that this is the first time it happened. Mm. So to prepare the world for things like this uh, is to, to build the world uh, and prepare it for, for, for an online business, a business where you can build uh, from home, everywhere. And uh, uh, also sometimes it's really sad that media believes that what we are doing, uh, that we are the bad guys mm. because we are the opposite and they protect the old uh, really bad guys that actually earn all the money. Uh, what we are doing is to stick hole in the bubble and, and let the, the, the money rain down on millions and millions of people, wherever you are. You can be in any country. You can be in your home, in your car, at the subway. It doesn't matter. You don't need to go to a regular job. Mm. So what we are doing, and, and I, I hope we, maybe within a couple of years, and what's happening in the world, maybe speed it up a little bit that people really understand that building a network is not a bad thing. It's the best thing you can do ever. Mm. I, I think also, if you look at it, 
how social media, how the internet has been built up today. It's been built in a way the winner takes it all. Mm. And uh, it's, I mean, they have enslaved people digitally, mm. basically by stealing all the content, all the work they do over the days that they spend on social media and so far. We here, we're, we're changing that. We're breaking that up. We're becoming a distribution network for endless amounts of entrepreneurs to distribute their software in a new manner to new regions. Mm. We're making it possible for people to actually help out for these entrepreneurs to acquire new customers and not sending that money as customer acquisition costs money to Silicon Valley, mm. but paying it out in terms of commissions to the areas where they desperately need the jobs to do it and the money to, to help out. So. Um, so, uh, you know, th th there's such important parts of the disruption that we're doing. And we're we also taking this network industry to something, to a completely new era. We, we, we're looking at the gig economy mm. and saying, you know, you need an extra job you need to do. And we're giving people the ambition to say, well, you know, I just want to, I'll recommend it on my social media once a month. Well, that's really taking a new grip on influential marketing. Mm. We, we're giving everybody with 500 people on their social media friends the ability to do that. So, but I think the most important part of, of, of why would people trust us, why, will, why are we so much better than everybody else, is we're putting this company up in Spain, European compliance, legal compliance. We will be completely transparent with uh, ownership, founders, uh, management, and, <coughs> and because of that, we're going to prove, we're going to have to prove, we're going to put this company public so that you know that everybody knows that you know they there is they need to have full transparency right. on everything mm. and then we will prove the amount of money that we're sending out to the networks and uh, how that money is going to change the world mm. and and just sort of conclude a bit what and um, because i'm also thinking all of your millions of members I, I mean some are maybe leaders founders and some are maybe new entrepreneurs you know like when you're doing a startup and just to give them some advice what's um the best advice that you would like to give them or what was the advice that you would have wanted to have when you started out and then to become an entrepreneur that can maybe facilitate them a bit if if i start on that i, I love sales i started selling when i was like you know, I was a kid. I was selling. My grandfather was a fisherman. So I was selling cod in the, in the local place where we were living um, for summer. I then sold sweets at a soccer game, and then I sold newspapers and magazines. Sales is a beautiful trade, but it is a difficult trade mm -hmm. because 99% of everybody you meet is going to say no. Mm. Uh, Ninety percent are going to be rude and say no, mm. you know. And and to and in order to sell, the one hundred and one time you have to go, hello, do you want you 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 have to have the attitude, the spirit. That's why it's so important that you have inspiration and motivation. You need to be passionate, committed. Two hundred no's, I'm going to go for two hundred first knock on the door. So we're not going to have everybody make money on sales. A lot of people are going to say, we don't even want sales. Mm. We don't want to do this. That's maybe why they've gathered 200 people to a cafe to watch the event that we had today. And because then we do the sales for them. We're going to do everything we can to help people uh, and empower people just to spread. But I think, you know, I say it again and again, and Peter Jacobs says it again and again, be motivated, be focused, never give up, never take no for an answer. Just, you know... And, and can it be that also saying sales or not, but that it is also transitioning into becoming an entrepreneur? Because that is also a title which you can hold Absolutely. with, that, f that you feel empowered by. And then sales might be one of you know the segments that you actually do. Yeah. Uh, I fully agree to, to what you well said. And, and uh, I think that what we can help people with in, in, in Crowd1 is, as I said before, that mm -hmm. we, we create systems where you actually selling without selling mm. uh, the system sells for you uh, and no one have done it before and everything from from uh, presentation tools to to everything is, is made in a way i mean when i started this industry uh, a short presentation was one and a half hour mm. and uh, and you know that a regular person can focus for 40 seconds mm. so already there you have a big problem so so our goal is to become as close to 40 seconds as possible and if you if you have a, a system where it's for the second, uh, still it's, it's it's really important to have the entrepreneurial spirit in mm. in in and and to to provide that that part. But but we're building tools 
so that people don't need to hopefully don't take hundreds of of, of no's mm. uh, because uh, that was yeah that's what all people have been learned all all times i learned it uh, the best salesperson is the one that that uh, uh, can take most no's mm. and uh, i think that the goal uh, when we started this was to build a company where you shouldn't have to take a lot of no's. Uh, the, the, the less no's you can, can take as, possi uh, as possible. And um, yeah, and uh, at, the ne at the next uh, world online event, we will actually release uh, something that, that I, uh, was my goal when we mm -hmm. started this. It's the, yeah, I, I can probably call it the ultimate uh, material for for mm -hmm. uh, yeah duplication where you, yeah, where you get people into a process mm. where the, where the tools. I mean, you always need to be an have the entrepreneurial spirit and, mm. a, and have a goal, uh, of course, and have a goal with what you why you w w woke up in the morning. Purpose. Mm. Yeah, that helps, of course, but but. Uh, it should feel like like the the regular social media, the registration process and everything, mm -hmm. and people should easily see it. oh, this is something for me. Mm. I don't need to like this specific hair product or something i oh, they have everything, and it just pop ups in front of me and mm -hmm. and I just go this way so mm. yeah and and one more thing before I forget it because it's important I want to tell all the all the members that we talked about before the the legal part and and uh, everything it's important that everybody knows that that we have a lot of people all around the world working with this and and it's a high priority uh, to to even if we can say that media sometimes and uh, want to understand the wrong way we always deal with everything and we take it very seriously and, and, and we, we care about all the members doing a great job and if there is a problem uh, we will always be there uh, on their side mm. uh, to protect them and, and to show them that we are uh, right behind, always, that's important. And last but not least, because even though it's a lot about work, it's also about combining work and life, right? So just what's life? Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> what I'm going to ask you. Um, so, so be, and especially in these times, we're living in times when you know health is also wealth. So I just wanted to get a bit of a personal perspective from each of you. You know, what apart from working, where do you find your um, energy recuperation to then go back so that there's also you know a balance what makes you happy joyful apart from of course ICT and crowd one you know my if I start I uh, my my wife my kids my family are incredibly important to me we've mm. been married for soon 25 years my kids are 20 and uh, 21 and uh, 19 and then we live in the best country in the world mm. Spain uh, in the best city in the world Madrid so you know there's a lot of food culture music great weather great wine um, there's a lot of ways of amusing yourself when you live in such a fantastic country um, so i think it's great that it is a spanish company we, you know, we have all our, our huge customer service department there we have mm. the financial department there so that's that's important to me um, and my family and then i i thrive also from the energy I get from Jonas and the work and he's the doing. And the millions of network. family members. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. That's, that's, uh, that's the great energy. Yeah, I mean, the family is important, but also the, the feeling every day, the, the, the all the answers you get from all the network, mm. not networkers. And, and yeah, I mean, uh, a couple of days ago, uh, I had uh, my birthday, so I wasn't online on, on, on like 20 hours Good. and I came back and and I mean there is a lot of a lot of people working with this but that was like um, 850 uh, not congratulations it was actually questions and I love that for me it's a congratulations. <laughs> 850 questions yeah you after 24 hours about oh. how yeah we want to do this we have started mm. in this oh, okay. uh, this country and 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 so on. So, so you say thank you for the birthday gift. Yeah, okay, All that's the uh, that's the best gift I can get. So so, but yeah, the, the every day and and the numbers and and to to see that people climbing in the career ladder in the company. I mean, there are people in 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 many countries that do uh, the job they do is is uh, yeah, it's it's unbelievable to understand uh, how how they can work this fast and and. Yeah, you, you get humble every day and, and you get power 
by helping, try to help to build the, 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 the best systems. And, and of course, by the, the great people in the company that, uh, yeah, when, we, when the last couple of days when we have created this, this uh, online event, I mean, the people around us uh, is, is uh, yeah. Team effort. Yeah, 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 my God. When you see people who are so committed, and so passionate, passionate mm. and so grateful, mm. I've had you know people coming up saying thank you for taking people out of poverty in Africa, or and y you know you feel so humbled by that. Mm. And I don't know how many times I've sent emails, connecting saying with people send me something and they saying that we cannot let these people down. We have to find these products. Mm. We have to do make the impact that we can through bringing trade to these areas. Mm. Yeah, and in the co the co last couple of weeks. Uh, we have actually seen it very closely, uh, what's happening to people in a lot of countries. Mm. It's, it's really tough times and we have actually seen it very closely uh, in our own company. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, a couple of people, I mean, even you, you one, have been having a tough time uh, with this, what's happening. In We're in referring to the pandemic. Yeah. Yes, of course. Corona and corona and corona. we actually have one of, one of the guys in the company, uh, one of the... Uh, yeah, one actually one of, of the mentors in my life that actually just a couple of days ago, uh, yeah, we realized that he, he would survive. Mm -hmm. So so it's it's tough time and that's also maybe the last couple of weeks or months, uh, a great uh, yeah, a thing that makes you work even harder mm. is that you see uh, that people need this business more than ever. Yeah. So, so I think that the whole company, the whole management, everything, we work a little bit harder every day to, to make this happen to, to all people all around the world. Mm. You won, Jonas, thank you so much for sharing your insights and for what you do. And I wish you the best of luck going forward. And I also want to say to all of you, you know, stay safe, stay healthy yeah. and, and stay passionate and joyful as well. And um, we'll see you again on the new online event, 6th of June, right? Yes. You can yes. buy the tickets in the back office. Yeah. Can't wait. Can't wait. We will Looking beat all the records. Again. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much. And thank you so much to all of you. And I'll soon be having an additional interview with some of the management team. So. Stay safe, but stay online.